Banter Podcast with Paul and Jettis. <laughs> And we're both deaf. Was that loud? <laughs> fucking hell, I was going, where's that? Is that inside my head? I think my tooth got loose there. Oh, so fucking loud. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the General Banter Podcast. Uh, my special guest today, Tom O'Manley. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't remember if this was your first time here, but, but it is. Yep, first time here. Because uh, we've, we've podcasted, we've podcasted everywhere. together in numerous places and on Zoom. For I forget what you know. We were the doggers of podcasts for the longest time. It was just pulling up at fucking car parks wherever it was happening. It was happening. Yeah, um, with a scarf over your face. Like, <laughs> where are you? I'm in the toilets of Lavery's. No problem. <laughs> just we did a few of those. We did a few in Lavery's, like pre-gig and all that sort of shit. Did one at your house. I remember being um, going down to your house, and you know, you know, you drive down, and you fucking stop at every Apple Greens, yeah. and, and eating all sorts of fucking just bin trash mm-hmm. like a fucking raccoon. And uh, got to your house and you're like, do you want dinner? And I was like, no, I'm good, man. I had all sorts of wank on the road there. And you had black pudding and pork sausages. Oh, yeah. And I was never more furious that I was like, <laughs> on a, that I arrived on a full stomach. And I even remember at the time you're like, there's chips. And I was like, oh, don't give me the chips, man. Don't give me the chips. I just and I, was, I wanted the sausages so bad, and I had just had you know like some disgusting wrap out of Costa, and I was just like, the sausages are good, but, but I'm gonna be that's sick. That's so us though. Rather than actually planning it out properly, and go right, arrive fucking hungry. I've got weird sausages you're going to want to try. It was, but that was yeah. We moved from that place because that was I did not fit in where <laughs> you pulled up at the fucking gate and you won. It took her a year to talk to me that old fucking weapon. I know. And when you pulled up at the gate, you, which. <laughs> As you self-described, I have that Eastern European drug dealer look, Tom, and all. Like, you had a nice car, but that wasn't... just like, there was no people that live around there. They're Irish, but they're... Not nice enough for that fucking area? No. Vince McMahon has a house on that road. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> what was I doing living on He's that road? He's collecting his fucking meal. <laughs> Down the fucking thing. This scumbag had no business living around there. Like, they were just... They were... A no- like, Prince Charles visited the garden centre down the road. Did you just look like the help the whole time? They thought I was the help. Are you here to wash the fucking... I was the wait- geese? I was waiting on a, t- a taxi one of, one of the days. Uh, I was heading into town fucking having a couple of beers for an Ireland match. <coughs> and, like, me. people were pulling up because they were having a soiree to celebrate Prince Charles visiting oh, a, a garden centre down the road. They were having a soiree and they, all these fucking... Would they be into that round there? Is Man. that a sort of, is that the West Brit type thing they talk about? All of them don't have, they don't have an Irish accent. They all go, oh, hello, I'm very Irish, don't you know? <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut in on that, please. <laughs> <laughs> it was the most bizarre. I was glad to have lived there to see these Ugh. fucking weirdos. But like, it was not weird for people to have a chopper, if you know what I mean. Like, just pulling in, like. Oh, a helicopter? Oh, yeah. <laughs> They're not like, hello, Tom. <laughs> So <laughs> you stayed in the hotel up the road. That's the go of the area. Power court. That's the go of the area. I have no business. A scumbag like me living I, around there. I told you this at the time, and we've mentioned this on a podcast, but it might have been a Zoom one. So fuck it, we'll do it in real life. We come out of Power Court. I'm driving through this whatever. What's the closest little town? And it's scary. And it's scary. Where they just filmed um, <clears throat> Enchanted Two. Okay. Yeah. And just didn't have to dress it up. No. Probably. No. But I'm driving along, and there was a fucking. There was like an abandoned house, which is a big enough, nice enough house. Mm. And then in the driveway, which broke my heart, was like an old SL 500 or something. I know something. the spot, yeah, yeah. Dropped, fucking tires gone on it, moss all over it and all. Yeah. I was like, that's the sort of place you're in where someone's just like, we're moving. Do you bring? Do you want to bring the Mercedes? And like, no. Yeah, that's the kind of area. I'm not coming back. <laughs> and they just fucking let it go to shit. And no one even steals it. No, no, no. Why would you steal it when you already have four? You don't fucking need ah, another one. Yeah, it's... It was be- a white one too. It was beautiful. Of course it was white. That's the... W- like, we're white, but they're <laughs> fucking white people down there. You know what I mean? There's, it's a bizarre part of the world around Enniskerry. It's very, very strange. Like, the fact that they were so excited by Prince Charles coming up to see the Petunias. But is, would, that, is that the sort of... Is that the sort of, like, mm. the leftover from, like, some yeah. sort of colonization years ago? And they're like, no, we don't mind this at all. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the sort of yeah. is that the sort of people? Literally, sure. I lived in a gatehouse of a big manor house. You know what I mean? Like there was that was the gatehouse. That, what I lived, yeah, that was the gatehouse. For fuck's sake, one of four, one of four gatehouses. So you get to that giant house, and then they're like, I just, "I'm just a lowly, lowly hair. I'm a lowly pauper. <laughs> I guard the gate. If you'd like to go on up to the manor house." <laughs> And even that gaff was fucking big, like. Oh, uh, if you saw what the house looked like, it's ah, it's been it's Chris de Berg's house. It's Chris de Berg's house. He owns it now, and he he actually built on because 
you know, who doesn't need more house when you've got 12,000 square foot? I just like Chris, Chris the Berg stand there in the, the dressing gown, <laughs> just talking about sunrooms. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at conservatory there. <laughs> <laughs> looking dry the washing Pagola. I want a pagola over there. <laughs> Chris the Berg, what does he do? What's his song? Lady in... Lady in Red. Yeah. But I'm just I'm trying to figure that out because you know I was I was watching a load of like um, Irish history documentaries because mm. I realised you know I didn't know anything about it. Yes, and it was introduced to that whole notion of like the the West Brit type character. Debbie, I, like if you like, where Natasha grew up was Do- a place called Dalky. Yeah, it's on the edge of Dublin. It's still in the technically the city city bounds, but it's on you know it's looking across to the motherland, and. <laughs> Like, it's not weird at all. That's where Matt Damon, they were all excited Matt Damon was staying there over and he got trapped there during lockdown. And, did he? and they were going, how did you survive? He's like, you're in a 12 million pound house yeah. with a, a maid and two nannies. And he was like, my God, they were so nice. They were just, they were just such the nice, Ireland is the nicest place. You're like, that's not Ireland, you fucking <laughs> maniac. It's Beverly Hills. Enya, Bono, and like anybody else who has money. Fucking worst dinner party ever. <laughs> the shittest ever. But <laughs> Enya. Had- Damon. Enya. <laughs> <laughs> Doing that fucking whale noises across the table. <laughs> and he's like, which one is he, Jason Bourne? <laughs> Did I make that up? Is he no, Jason- you're 100% right. Yeah, yeah, fuck's yeah. sake. But that was the thing. He was like, oh my God. I mean, Ireland is, I, I could live there. And you're like, no, you no. Yeah. Try living in rural Westmead. That's not where you were fucking yeah, living. It's sir. like when we were in Mexico on honeymoon. I was like, I could move here tomorrow. <laughs> and then you drive out of the fucking Narcos, complex. All of a sudden, yeah. <laughs> there's watchtowers with guys like belt fed machine guns just <laughs> guarding your fucking belongings. Yeah. Because everyone would behead you around here and stuff coke up your ass. And that's 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 the vibe. So when you start looking in, there's a few spots around the country where just time has stopped stand still. And people, you, you know straight away because they speak with that accent. Yeah. So it's lovely to see you. Yeah. Very Irish, don't you know? You're like, <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> I don't know. You sound different. But there's a couple of spots like West Cork, Clare, West Clare, where Yuan was killed. Uh, just to scone the plot. Like that oh, place yeah. is just, it is, it's Little Britain essentially along there. Like it is. Well, it was weird. That was obviously the West Cork uh, fucking documentary thing. Yeah, we- yeah. West Cork all the way up to West Clare. Like you'll get, and all the way, kind of up, up to Galway, you'll get people who. They pretend to be poor by because they wear willy jumpers, but the truth of the matter is that they're yeah. a ball of cash behind them because nobody else could be fluting around on a daily basis. Like I make, don't you know? I make macrame for a living. <laughs> and you're like, no, you only have to be rich to make that for a living because you're not going to make any money out of it, you dickhead. <laughs> no, do you know? Yeah, they're kind of like kicking about in their their wellies and their yeah. woolly jumper, but the wellies are like five hundred quid for, out of some. Oh yeah, yeah, hor- yeah. Horsey shop. Oh, she, I only drove an old Land Rover. And it's a collectible, what they're driving. Oh, yeah. So none of these, like, they always find spots by the coast where they're fucking rotten with money. I do remember that documentary, though, because they were like, uh, you know, we talked to some locals, and the guy's <laughs> like, yeah, dude, the fucking got her, <laughs> got her head bashed in up the street here, and uh, I was just fucking, you know, there, no one was from there. Did you see Did you see him when they were interviewing the head detective? I was like, oh, please don't put him on the television anymore, because he's the most... <laughs> <laughs> like if anybody thinking racist notions about Ireland, it's that guy. They're thinking because he's leaning back on. Shall I did it again? Ah, I shall I know? I know. Kill what I see. What? And you're like, man, you've only ever dead. I don't know. Shall I get three stone men? Shall I keep it just there? Shall I? I shall keep it blood under the single net. Shall I know full well? Let's go. Yeah, but just just stop it, will you? <laughs> you know, you'd be so baffled in an interrogation. You'd just be like. Yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. like you get to the end of that and be like, I did. I, like, oh, what? It was embarrassingly Irish, like the how much. Uh. But, but in another way, I was kind of excited that he didn't give a fuck. He was, he was as calm with those cameras on him as fucking Joe Rogan. Like he was sitting there going, oh, shall I tell you what's like, No, I only need to look at a man. <laughs> I can see him around the corner if he killed him. <laughs> <laughs> how is he so confident? Just this absolute rock star of a cop who's the most rural person you've ever heard in your fucking life. But you do get those weird ones where they just have, they're just, you don't know if it's like confidence or ignorance, but they're just like, yeah. they don't give a fuck either way. Yeah. It's like I, I, a guy, I videoed him. I had to take a video of it. I was at the plowing championship a couple of years ago, which you have to fucking go, right? Hey, I was there. Hey, I never will. <laughs> It's not. Well, actually, the, the rate my son is going, we'll probably you, add it next year. You have no choice. We'll both be there 
with fucking tractor magazines under our arms because our kids are mental for tractors. But I was there on a professional basis. I was hosting a, a thing for a, for a thing. But it, it was the easiest job in the world. They wanted you for about an hour of the three days. I was like, okay, and I'll just go wander around. But they had cool shit. They had lots of fucking like shit that could cut houses in half and stuff. So I was just looking at... The, I ended up in the holistic scenario, but I ended up weirdly over where this guy was... They were, they were selling... I don't know, were they selling cattle or were they showing them for prizes? You know, like a fucking beauty competition for cattle, but this, this old guy... A beauty competition? <laughs> <laughs> Did the fucking teach on this one here? Man, you want to see some of these fuckers? They were dev... You knew at some stage in their life they definitely thought about if they didn't actually fuck some wildlife for sure like these oh, yeah. guys you're gone but this guy had a pound of sausages raw sausages gone <laughs> and he was pulling them out in a string of links right and he was just snapping them off and eating them did you see it i i've seen video is that on a video type? i put it up it was me oh I you sh- yes i shared it a couple of years ago i'm like nah, I, the oh. dude's the dude's shoveling fucking uncooked like Ross, raw sausages, fucking Denny's finest just snapping them off like they were like like he was snapping <sighs> off bits of a twizzler just going oh, sure, oh, oh, oh. Like a, like a flump. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the dude's just shoveling. Like, it goes to show you how little fucking meat there is in those things. If you can just horse them into you, fucking... Just this pink shit. But then, I, underneath the comments, underneath, was, the amount of... Like, people really showed their colours. The amount of people underneath it went, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I did a raw sausage. Like, okay. All right, you have... But it was the confidence of that bloke that day was the ignorance of it. He, was, he wasn't he was sneaking him around like trying to take a fucking pull of a fag at, behind the school. This fucker was out in front of no, 500... You know, like sometimes you just hook in your pocket to get a bit of chewing gum and you go... No. And you just carry on. Yeah, he's just, just shuffling it. But yeah. you do, I think that's... Like, I've even witnessed that, like, in the in the, the country area I live in. Like, if you're in the bar, there's boys fucking... They're, you know, like, they're, they're walking to the toilet and, and they're, like, their dick's in their hand and they haven't walked into the toilet yet. And the guy's got, like, a, like a fucking roly hanging out. He's like, hey, I'm here. And he's the cock out. And he, he's, he's, like, nine more steps to go before he pisses. And you're like, bro. And there's, like, bar... Guard works in the bar walking past him and all. And you're just like, he's not doing that for anyone. You know he's like probably I, maybe is like lives alone or something, and he just does it anyway. Just he doesn't wear it. trousers at home. What do you joke? But I and, uh. and the notion that he gets a second thought. Well, well, I guess I can say it all. And you're like, no, you finish up what you're doing. Put your dick and go. Yeah, I. But I saw your area too. It is yeah. identical to where I I grew up and where I'm living now. Actually, they've gotten a bit more cosmo. Like the, the thing about rural Northern Ireland, they fucking love being rural. They love it. Oh yeah, they, and they're good at it. You know, I think there's kind of a... Because a lot of people have moved back to where I'm from. Mm-hmm. People are like nearly closing up and not eating their raw sausages anymore. It's like, ah, come on, come on out, you fucking lunatics. Come on, I want to see. This is why I moved yeah, home. You have to put it in a brioche bap. Right? <laughs> a brioche bun for my raw sausage. <laughs> I thought we were going to be just... This is going to be an hour continuously talking about Tyke Furlong. Because well, that seems to be the theme of what we do. Like, back and forth, anybody wondering how he just... What have your thoughts been on the on the rugby of late? Yeah, I fucking quality-looking stuff. They got, mm. I mean, they came up short against, watch me call it, against France. Like, but so what? They're big as fuck, France, aren't they? Monsters! Like, they, your man Willemsen that they got. Like, if you stood beside some of these guys... I I'm guess seen, uh, they, have, they obviously scored that fucking wonder try. And there was some breakdown and... Your man Porter was over the top of the rock. Yeah. And someone hit him and he it, it was like a fucking Jeep hit him. And yeah. I was just like, that doesn't happen very often. For the size of that bastard. Which you see when, when <clears throat> Furlong takes off, like he wasn't getting any purchase on Smash. No, he smashed a couple of lads. Yeah. He smashed a couple of lads. But at the same time, like, he's normally like it's, you know, he's normally absolutely fucking bulldozing lads. But then Like that clip from Wheels where he hit the nine. <laughs> and he and he, f- <laughs> he floated. And, and the that, guy the guy was like committed a wee bit and then he went, nah. Let someone else take the hit. So he was backing off nearly and just... Poof, and you could see him just float out of the shot. That's the strength of just one arm from the yeah. likes of him. Like, just going... Fucking I'm trying to find this clip here. I have it on my phone. Um, it was after the France match where it was just like, you know, Tag Furlong just getting getting down to business. And he's just walking around the... Cha- I can't find it. I thought I downloaded it. He's just walking around the fucking changing room. I, did them boys change together? The no, no, no. They'll, they'll they like, like mix after. They will mix <laughs> after, especially. You want me to touch your cock? I will. Uh, Post match. I will wash uh, Bines. I will wash but, but the likes of Bra- like a lot of fellas wouldn't be bothered about Alex going across, but somebody like Ty Furlong, he uh, knows he'll be welcome anywhere he walks. Civil, in. civil but man. He, but, but he, did you see the clip though? No, he, he walked in. He, he shook the guy's hand. And he's like, "Good game," and he's like, "Beer." 
beer and the guy's like ah, and they crack open two beers he's like clinks it and fucking sits like sits down yeah. like he's like you're at your fucking uncle's barbecue he just sits down legs apart like that, <laughs> in, in the middle of the french changing room just like good night <laughs> just like okay but you like he knows <laughs> and the beer is about <laughs> looks about that size he knows man he knows he's the man too he fucking knows he's and he's the man in any dressing room in the world he'd walk into right now because afterwards he, if he walks in they go like you know you're doing well when they like when British announcers are pronouncing your name right when you got a fucked up name like Tyke because yeah. when he came on the scene for us like is it Tag or Tej I don't know I don't know yeah. then all of a sudden he starts fucking choke slamming fucking all blacks he's like oh it's Tyke <laughs> yeah. it's Tyke Furlong we are saying it correctly he's like you're fucking right away Laura fucking you know <laughs> so I had John Fogarty on the, on the <clears throat> podcast he's the scrum coach for Ireland fucking yeah. lunatic like him and his brother they they both played hooker for, for Leinster and Ult- or Munster and uh but he was saying, I was going, is Tiger as, as country as, as he seems? He goes, man, he fucking hams that stuff up. Of course he does. Because he was on the news and they were going, how's the new, how's the new you know, coach and everything? Never mind that. Never mind that. I t- tell you what's great. I tell you what's great. Is the new chef we're after getting is great. It's like, <laughs> why is the new chef great? He's flaho. He's flaho co- cooking. <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and you're going, man, you're not that raw. You're not. Th- he's flaho. He's flaho above there. He, he make me, he make me and I want above there. And I'm telling you, I'm putting on beautiful weight there now. I'm putting, like he's talking about himself in cattle form. They're like, <laughs> you don't believe that. And, and the, the, uh. he, knew, he, he fucking speaks in memes too, the cute fucker. He turns around and he goes, and he don't be cooking none of them orange spuds neither for me. And you're like, oh, Those orange, what? Uh, orange spuds. And he, and he knows, because he's, he's a smart guy. He knows it's going to be a meme. It's going to be a gif. It's going to be everything within minutes. Because he's like, them orange spuds. Nah, I, I tell you what. Big, big, your big pint of milk for me there, and then just loads of normal spuds. None of them orange spuds. And they were, oh, you mean sweet potatoes? Is it? I don't know. Whatever or, you call them, winky wink. Yeah. Like he know in full well this will be on a t-shirt. Harry baby will have this on a t-shirt within a, within the hour. Like orange spuds. Yeah, he's hilarious. Like even when um, they did the Adidas, did like a day in the life of. <laughs> you sent they, me that. They yeah. go to the, they go to the house. <laughs> And he's like, he's like, we got the fucking, uh, we got the the ben- or the what was it like the squat rack down in the mil- the milk and <laughs> parlor. parlor. So yeah. there's like a fucking dip in the middle of it. And he was like standing there, fucking but he's, I mean, he's a fucking savage. But that's a, that's what that's who I needed when I was playing rugby as a kid. Yeah, you know, because you if you're playing like front row, you were always just like, hey, you're strong, but you know, you're not going to make it to any breakdowns or to make any effect on the match. Yeah, and now you're like, so I read a quote the other day, and they were like, Ireland's front row is the envy of world rugby. Yeah, it is. Or it, something. Of course it is, because they can actually... Well, they, but then Porter will play it down, like because they were going, oh my God, you did that. You pulled that, that beautiful pass out the back door to Johnny Six, and he goes, I'm playing this since I'm five. I can't pass it a meter. I want to be tough. You that's, know, that's, but fatties, were, as they call them, front rowers were never asked to do it before, but now yeah. these lads... But the, you, you say fat until like... Oh, yeah. Some of them take their fucking top off, and you go, oh, like Cian Healy or something? Oh, he... Have, He's see late. Porter Tom oh yeah but Porter Porter. I remember reading an interview with his old man years ago and he, not wealthy people not wealthy wealthy but sent him to a good school like yeah. and, but they actually he, <clears> his father didn't have enough money at the age of 16 to buy him any more plates for the for the bench oh yeah he was just he's a tank like and he, you, you see 16, him 16 like and he running I, there are no more weights on we've we have no. What age is he now? Do you reckon he's even fucking probably like twenty six or something? That's at most. At most. But, but you see him. You see him like you know on his Instagram. You know doing cute, cute TV things with a girlfriend and all there out for dinner, and he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, and he's he's because pr- props aren't like fat dudes anymore. No. Were, and it's, it was whenever I used to play rugby, I was in school and uni, and all, it, that was starting to come in. Yeah. Because I we had a pretty mobile front row, and there's boy like. What was his name Ricky Lawton? He just went on to play for Ulster and stuff. Like he'd 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 fucking sit beside the fullback and he'd be like, boom, and just give it to him and yeah, he'd just take yeah, yeah. off like a fucking lunatic, and just you just barrel through people. And it was starting to come in a wee bit. Like, but now you see, them, your man standing there with a big cauliflower ears and fucking traps coming from his fucking you know, standing beside. Oh, like, they don't look real. Uh, like they don't. They standing beside some of them fellas. I remember. <laughs> I remember. <laughs> For a couple of years, I was down. I used to do the panto in University Concert Hall in Limerick, and I don't I know. Love the contrast. We we're talking about professional rugby players, and they were like, "When I was doing the panto, yeah. <laughs> but what they had me there for, I don't know, because I don't sing or dance. So they just let me out, just kind of go, 
Ah, how are you? I walked back out again. I played, I played myself for four years, basically. But we were allowed to use all the, like, the, the, the sports centre there is one of the best you'll ever, it's almost an American standard. Where's this? In in Limerick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure, we gig. They're that fucking place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real. And they're, they're yeah, in, in the concert hall. But you, you want to... You see, feel like it's America. You're like, Jesus yeah. Christ, it's all a stadium? Is yeah. All right? But Munster, their <coughs> watch McCullough is there. It's, uh, their uh, Training high, camp? High performance centre. Oh, yeah. The HPC is there. And they were saying, oh, you can, you, you lads can use the gym because you everybody else gone home, but you can use the gym. So I said, I'll go for a bit of a swim because I had a feeling I don't want any of them fuckers in the gym. Even though they had their own gym, I still don't want to be, even the smallest one would still be a monster. I'm just going to go swim and that'll do me fine. <laughs> I can't sing, I can't dance, but I can swim. <laughs> and that's all I'm going to do. I came out and the guy, he ended up playing for Ireland at once uh, for a little bit at the last World Cup. Sean Klein is his name. He's six foot nine, right? <laughs> this fucking South African. Ooh. It was it was like, like you know your general boner, yeah, like that close at one stage. It was like, oh Jesus Christ, um, there's three of us in this relationship. It would seem you know, I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like the man's the man's hips were at my head height. It's like this is what the fuck? I can't. This is not even not a case of confidence. I just can't deal with the alien situation oh, that yeah. this is. You were just, <clears throat> and still, even though you're six nine built like fucking traps and sh- veins yeah. and shit all over and that was just his cock you know what I mean <laughs> <laughs> fucking thing at shoulders <laughs> I know it, it is freaky when you see like real athletes or something you know you're just like Jesus Christ the meat on, t- on top of their back like you know like fucking <laughs> the meat <laughs> on his cock <laughs> astonishing absolutely astonishing prime prime rib prime we, rib we, we filmed up at the, the Ulster thing one day me and Sheen Got to meet a few lads. And some some lads are like surprisingly not, you know, scary. Yeah. You go like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah. this dude's just like, I do, I do think it's different. You know, obviously they take the best players from everywhere and make like an international team. <laughs> so on a domestic level, you're going to get some just regular athletic yeah, dudes. Yeah, you're like, yeah. all right, fair enough. But some of them you're just like, Jesus Christ. I think it was, was his name, Dan Tui. Oh, Dan Tui. He was yeah, like yeah. injured at the time and he came down. The, there's a lift down to the gym floor. And he came down the lift and just, ding, the doors opened. And he literally got out of it like he was getting out of a fucking <laughs> Lamborghini. Like, just got out of the lift with a cast on his leg. And I was like, oh, my God. What Give fuck? us a fucking hand there, will you? Give us a fucking hand. Get his head under and fucking turn sideways. How long? Ugh, get those crutches. But, Unbelievable. Yeah, there's a couple of them. Like, I remember standing beside. He went up to play. He's playing for Ulster now. It was Jordy Murphy. Mm-hmm. And I was walking behind him at this. this. It was this thing for Heineken I was hosting. And just the fucking, like... They were like wings, these fucking muscles that were sticking off the guy's back. It's like, fuck! And you're like, you're not starting even for Ireland. And they're just muscles fucking everywhere. Like, yeah, I can. When people, when you're watching on TV and you see somebody run that's. At, imagine being skinny and small and making the international team and then some big cunt run that. You're like, ah. Like, imagine. Imagine being a. And imagine fucking Tig Furlong running at me. I'm like, ah. On you go, son. Yeah. Y- your man! Your man! Your man, just back up to fuck, like it would be, be like just a fucking bull running through. Like, did you hear? Have you heard his just, just a pillowcase <laughs> that's on a fucking clothesline? <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't have enough weight to resist anything. It would just be like he, oh. I wouldn't imagine he'd even blink. It'd be like oh, oh, oh. there is that clip though of of him with the the All Blacks, and there's like oh. he just I mean it's choke like, slamming Kieran Reid. You're like okay, yeah. How big is he? Like twenty stone probably. Uh, he's got he's got to be cl- six oh, eight or something. Once you yeah, once you get up to six eight, you're assuming you're eighteen. Once you what, yeah, if you can choke slam an eighteen stoner, you can choke slam a twenty. But I mean the guy he went up under him, <laughs> threw him to the side like <laughs> bang, and you're like that is a giant man like. And then in the next clip is oh he sidestepped Finn Russell. Yeah, how to f- put him on skates, bro? <laughs> put him on his arse. Did you ever see the the, the the pictures of him when he was playing? He go back go back to play GA every so often. Oh Sean O'Brien did it as well, went back to play football in, oh my, straight after he left Leinster, he he had time before he went to London Irish, he went, sure, I'll go back, I'll go back and play, I'll go back and play, play a bit of football, a bit of football. And they had this poor, misfortunate prick had to stand and mark Sean O'Brien and these po- like these guns because he's known for it and he's just standing there and they, how they even fuck it, they must have cut the jersey off him afterwards. He's like, the sort of guy where you're like, I don't know what which bits of the front and the, or the side or the back <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what's, what way is he looking he's like an owl just every fucking side is like fucking chunky yeah but he's he's cut from the same cloth as, as Furlong that's why he was loved so much because yeah. he was a bit of a scumbag in the Leinster vibe because they're all like <laughs> call yeah. up knickers down you know yourself call him 
<laughs> Collars up, neck or tie. But whereas he was Is like... That an Usher song? <laughs> Oh God, I hope it is. But he, he oh shit, my life's been on. But he was he he went to Leinster that time, and they were going. Do you want to come play for us? And he was like, "I'm the money to play for you," because he didn't go to any fancy school. He was just bullock strong. Like they all hated him because they reckoned he could just go into the gym, have a look at the weights, and put on muscle and walk back out again. But he came from those genetics, those fucking bovine yeah. genetics. But they just took a chance and went, "We pay you twenty grand a year." Because other than that, I have to go home. I'm working the farm. I have to go home. I'm working the farm. And we're like. 30 grand a year I had to go home working 40 grand a year would start oh, hello yeah. and like I went and bought a tractor for at home like still kind of only had half an eye on playing rugby professionally like he, but he only played it so he could go out and hurt people just oh yeah why else would did you hear have, that's <laughs> the real reason to play rugby have you heard Ty Furlong's nickname self-proclaimed nickname and you, you need to come up with one similar for in similar to style of description so we're going have you because we're asking you have you any nicknames in the squad he goes oh I'm I know it's the joke box. They're like, why? Because the hits keep coming. Huh? <laughs> and just walked away. Like Kenny Powers just walked away. Like didn't give any... Dis- You're like, because the hits keep coming. Are you fucking joking me? <laughs> you fucking laughing? <laughs> you come back here and ex- explain that ridiculous fucking thing. Nah. Oh, spelled it nearly right. Um, I mean, look at the guy's face. The guy... The guy... I said this before. You know, he... He, he could only be one nationality. That man. Oh... <laughs> Do you know what you I mean? You might get Scottish. You might get Scottish. Mm, no, you're know. right. Yeah, you know, you're right. He's if you put a check shirt on him and a pair of big cut jeans and sat him at the end of the bar with a fucking packet of Benson hedges <laughs> in front of him, you know, just fucking melting someone's ear about machinery, you would be like... And, and, like, he doesn't even look like he had to train if he, or change at all. He, he just could eat raw sausages. For sure he could eat raw sausages. He probably has raw sausages in his pot. There, there he is there with a the beer. He's oh, sitting. class. <laughs> and he's sitting like the total, like, granddad. Oh, Sh- yeah. Shut up now and hand me another fucking beer there, he, he, Francois. <laughs> Fra- <laughs> Francie. <laughs> Francie, gives a fucking lack of pipes. But, like, um, he even has that, he even has that you, Isle Boy sort of miscellaneous gunt that you get when you just... <laughs> Do you get that age? You go, I don't know if it's cock bollocks, gunt, or or actual belly. We see, we see this video. Can you hear that? What, where, yeah, is he, yeah. where is he actually from then? Wexford. Wexford. Let me see if I can get a bit of noise in this gaff. I'll have to go back. I'll have to go back. Sorry. Good game. Good game. <laughs> oh, good. Big lad. Less chat. <laughs> he came in. Oh, Furlong came in looking for a beer, did he? Oh. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> <laughs> He's just and he holding court in their fucking dressing room in their stadium. He holding in front of whose whose jersey is that? Who's because they got a picture? Who's up behind him? He's sitting in front of that man's suit, and no way is he gonna move. No, no, no. no. Bring on the sandwiches, you fuckers! Uh, hi, I, hi, and Antoine, Antoine, Anthony. Be, ha- g- he, give me another one. He'd be like, lean out of the way, let him get out of suit. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> there was a great picture of him that day. Uh, I don't know. But he doesn't he look like, you know, like, it's like Halloween, and they're like, wouldn't it be good crack to put Grand in, a, like, a, an Ireland strip? <laughs> and he just, <laughs> he's just fucking sitting there with a cock out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. He, oh, jeez. They, they did a great... Look at that. Merci. <laughs> good game. Uh, Man. <laughs> but I, he's not fucking off. No, like, he's not. Uh, he's planting himself there, and like, do you know what he did? Like, be mopping around his feet later on. You go. We like to go <laughs> home now. <laughs> your your man still hasn't gotten his suit. He's standing there going, ah, right. But he's. That's how he knows. See, he fucking knows he's the man. Other fellas would stand around and go, oh, sorry there, sorry, sorry. Hey, hey, great game, boys, and fuck off. Your man plants himself down, going, no, that's more of it now, boys. Tell me more about. No, no. You see, he's cute out. Like he, he'll be in there. <laughs> And you'd be guaranteed every French team going <coughs> would pay him too much. He'd be the highest player in the world paid player in the world if he wants to be. Think so? Oh no, there's the two highest pay, paid players on the team are the are him and the out half. And he he could command any, I I would love to know what Leinster are playing him. I'd say they're paying him a million a year. Easy. Really? Oh yeah. And he'd get two if he went to Japan, he'd get five million a year. No fucking bother. Cause I'm gonna throw longer. How it goes, it goes, it Imagine, because he literally looks like like imagine what damage he would do if he took off in a canter. He'd only need one a game. Come on oh, for yeah. five minutes. They'd be hanging off him like and fucking just throwing Gulliver's Travels. Or like there was a guy. There was a guy. Monster brought over called R.G. Snyman, 
and he looks like this big six foot ten, six foot eleven Viking. And he was in, in, but he can run and kick the ball and shit like that. But he was, they brought him over from, he's South African, but they, he was been in Japan for like two years. They fucking loved him because all he was doing was just catching Japanese fellas by the face and just throwing them into the audience going, oh, how do you They fucking <laughs> loved him. <laughs> they love it over there. They do you remember like the old pride days and like fighting where they'd have like Bob Sop? Yeah. And they were just like, oh, like the guy's fucking enormous and jacked and that's all they're excited about just like oh, there was a so like, Butterbean couldn't have made it anywhere else <laughs> Butterbean um, off to Japan and like you're going to Butterbean you're fucking 50 stone and you look ridiculous but they just loved him like to get him the bigger the better because they love he's like an easter egg with hands <laughs> but whatever whatever was going on with the mechanics he would fucking knock you dead like but sure it's like a big country sure big country had a big beautiful belly do you remember your man mm. Roy Nelson yeah, and then yeah. all of a sudden bing Ah, uh, good night and thanks. And then his top game was ferocious because he's a black belt and he's a big fat cunt and he knows where to place his weight and people yeah. would just be like, <laughs> like <laughs> blowing you, fucking can, can bubbles <laughs> in his belly. <laughs> I try and tickle him, you know, like he was <laughs> just to see what a fucking. But that's worked. just you struggling for breath oh, under the tits. Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> and he used to jump on the top and just rub the belly, you know. I love that. Though. Did you see any? Do you watch UFC at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you see the fights at the weekend there? That fucking guy, Bam Bam, Tayavasi or something. He's a Kiwi fella. Yes. Yeah, with the, he's got the cool fucking yeah. Maori band down yeah. the bottom. But he's a big fat cunt too. And, and poor old Derek Lewis. Right, put him to sleep. But uh, you see, you know, sometimes I, I'm like, should I just really take a run at getting fit? You know, just do, just take it on the chin. Six months of fucking being really strict. Huh. And then you see Derek Lewis versus that fella, and you're like, this is the peak of. Physical fitness. Yeah. Right now. Yeah. This is elite combat <laughs> between these two <laughs> sacks of shit. <laughs> Why the fuck would I do anything? And then he fucking wins and drinks his beer out of the shoe and all that shit. But you have to imagine, like, they're keeping all... But if you could... Do you know, if you could strip up... There has to be a serious athlete under there, like... There oh, has to be, sure. like... You know what I mean? Like... But at the same time... So Derek is always bollocksed, regardless if the match goes fucking two minutes or yeah. four rounds. He's always bollocksed at the end of it. You're like... Do you do any training at all, did you? Do you do any training? Because then you see somebody like Francis Ngannou, who looks like a fucking, built like a fucking silverback. Like, uh, yeah, but I think his, his life true. made him look true. like that. You know? True, true, uh, true. For two decades, I <laughs> scooped sand into a lorry at a quarry. How did he have the size, though? I want to know. How the fuck did he have the size? Because most lads, if you were doing that work, you'd be as you know, skinny as a rake. He still arrived over from France, or over to France, kind of gone. But that's why it's scary. That's why it's yeah. pure, pure genetics, because... For anyone to look like that, you would need fucking all the gear, all the fucking food, all the supplements. Yeah. And he's just like, I only drink blood. <laughs> I drink horse blood and eat sand. And he's just fucking jacked. Like, I can't. Yeah, I can't. It's, uh, I, that's genetics. But then you, you look at somebody like Liver King, who <laughs> the fucker's turning up on every platform. I turn on the fucking phone. Liver King here. <laughs> Liver, what's up, primals? You're like, stop with your primals now. Stop it. He did one on a fucking private jet the other day. Yeah. I f- Our primals, we, we never used to wear deodorant and all that shit. And you're like, you're a fucking private jet, you retard. <laughs> it's, oh, sorry. It's like, I, I'm just simulating a hunt right now. Really? You're simulating a hunt right now. Yeah. Right, I see that. And you're talking to the camera. Yeah, I'm down 100 grams. That's what I'm down right now. And if I don't get to eat somebody's eyes or liver later on, I might be hungry for the next two days. You're like, you're not going to go hungry, man. You're To keep the size on you're having, you're eating 10,000 calories a day, you mad fuck. Well, he definitely is. Cause, ah! You know, because he'll, he'll, he'll work out like a maniac, which I'm sure he does. And then he eats like what looks like a fucking barbecue for 12, <laughs> like just stacks of food. That guy must do some shitting. Oh, he should, call, was... him, he should call himself the, the shit king. <laughs> Shitter king here. <laughs> I just had myself 25 fucking burgers and uh, a whole liver and raw bone marrow, which I'm not even sure is safe for your brain. But uh, here we are. It just, was... just shitting in a fucking... Like, <coughs> just you know imagine the... Fu- just, oh. Like literally coming out of the toilet. Like a chairlift. I, it was the wa- Shitter king here. <laughs> it's the wife he brought in one day. He's like, and this is the, the liver queen. And you could see this woman was pained. She was like, oh, oh the whole oh, family. Only the fact that you're making a ton of money off this and we're in a mansion. Yeah. I would have left you a long time ago and put a fucking shirt on with you for the lo- But he had her pick up like a, <laughs> a full size salmon. I'm like, oh, is he going to start eating the salmon? And she just starts massaging eggs out of its vagina. Yeah, she starts down wanking his neck. the fucking eggs I'm out like, of it. Did you see that now? Do you follow him though? No. Oh, he's like, our primals used to eat one thing, and that was fucking, uh, fucking salmon cum. And then <laughs> the wife's like, uh, and he's just like, ah, 
<laughs> and that stinking what must that beard oh, smell like man get between his ass and his beard he's talking like he is talking shit because he's oh. like I'm done I'm on a simulated hunt right now I'm like yeah okay but even if you did get something you're not going to get you have to share it with every fucker if you're talking no no ancestors ever had that size like you don't I'm going to eat all the he ate 50 eggs like chicken eggs in front of him yeah. you're like yeah your ancestors, that would have taken him a month to but eat. But that's what I'm saying. He, he'll ham it up too. So he'll be like, I eat raw eggs and it's the Liver King challenge of eating raw And he's shot in all the fucking eggs. So you know what's going on. Like, you should, He's like, you shouldn't eat fucking hydrogenated seed oils. And then he shoots them with a fucking machine gun the way primals do. But then he's, he's all this shit. But then he sells his own fucking supplements. You're like, I hear. Where are you going? Oh, we're supposed to eat all the raw stuff. And now you're sending us, you're selling us the stuff in a fucking jar. Know, but exactly, but liver breakfast lunch and dinner. <laughs> and then the kids, he's like, it's Valentine's Day. There's only one thing to eat the way primals did: a, a raw beef heart. And all the kids, <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it's Valentine's Day, raw pussy. I'm then, gonna get down there. Get <laughs> it's COVID times. I think it's a hoax. One way to build up your immune system: liver king eats ass. <laughs> Straight into the wife's cheddar. I spend most of my mornings in the liver queen's anus. Here we go. <laughs> Comes up all shitty in the beard. I don't bother wash, washing my beard. I'll wash that later with some salmon piss. I'll wash it out with salmon piss later on. When I let an elk piss in my mouth. So only one source of protein for the liver king. Liver king out. Here we are. Tesco's doing a simulated hunt. Puts a fucking spear through a, through a chest freezer. Doosh. I got myself a bag of frozen prawns. Liver king out. Uh, Eating raw, raw Goodfellas pizzas. Folding them fold up. Uh, uh. <laughs> All our ancestors ate their food frozen. Here we are, Iceland. Three for a fiver. Liver, liver king, margarita pizza. Liver for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. He, he literally be like, he literally be like, be like, I got, I got three pizzas for a fiver. Sheep bollocks, chicken kidneys, and salmon piss, and a profiterole. It was the day he was showing the bed. That's what tip all the weird I shit he's eaten, that. and he's there, and he's going. And somebody said the amount, like people know from my own podcast now, how much he fucking vexes me. But you know when you watch, like you have to watch a fucker that vexes you. So people keep sending me, and he sends on this, or it was him going, it "What's happening, Brownells?" Uh, people keep asking what kind of bed, and nobody's asking you. Nobody's asking what kind of bed you are, because we can see you're living in a fucking multi-million dollar mansion. And he walks in, he's just tapping, he lifts back the mattress, like, yeah, we sleep on this timber. And he's just tapping a nice bit of cedar there, and you're going, it's, uh, or he goes, like, this is how I knew. He's talking shit, he goes, nice bit of plywood there, and it's solid cedar. And I'm like, no, no, we've gotten to the bottom of this, that's not plywood at all. That's solid cedar you're tapping on there, you bollocks. There is Isn't that good? Oh, it's way better. But what I'm saying is the fucker didn't know, because he made out like he made it himself with his own teeth. Do you know what I mean? He was making, oh, I'm plywood there. And you're like, that's not plywood. That's fucking solid cedar, you cunt. Yeah. Stop messing. And as if the wife, so Liver yeah. Queen, is going to be sleeping on a fucking bit of timber yeah. in their, tw like, 20-foot ceilings in this palatial manner. And you're going, yeah, you let's sleep on a box. Of, you get sick of it pretty quick. Do you know, I... This is where the magic happens. <laughs> I like to smash Liver Queen's <laughs> puss in on this fucking pallet. <laughs> and then on the 11th of July... <laughs> Liver King burns his bed. <laughs> Liver King out. <laughs> like imagine you were, you imagine you know, like you use your bed for all sorts of things. Really, you know, you sleep in ah. it. You're watching TV, banging the wife. You know, I've got the flu. I have to stay. Imagine, imagine being like, oh, I feel like shit today. I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's uh, on this fucking like, and that yeah. And this, you're gonna these, these three pallets and a fucking tissue. Go away for, and everything he has is the state of the art. Like his jeeps never are all fucking class. He's got like the, you know fucking Kawasaki mules for driving across the fucking lawn just to get to the other side. And you're like, yeah, no, we like a bit of hardship around here. He's like, go oh, ahead, fuck off. You got air ride suspension in your fucking jeep. We <laughs> like a bit. Of, if you want that, go get a fucking Mark One Defender. Drive that fucking. <laughs> Jalopy down the fucking road, yeah. see how hard you are. Yeah. Get a horse, you can't. What are you talking about? You'll be at the physio for your back just yeah. from driving the fucking defender. I, d I don't know. It's bec and it's like Instagram knows and TikTok knows that he annoys me now. And I must spend that millisecond <clears throat> longer on it. They're like, we'll show him more. But that, that's all it counts now is retention. Yeah. W whatever keeps you watching, whether you like, love it or hate it. Yeah. And it's him fucking, he knows it, too. Like, he does it. He's Scotland. Can you, can you imagine? Because he was, one of the days he was talking about when you got stuck in the airport and you haven't had time to have a workout and he's like picking the fucking kid up and doing bicep curls with him and you're going, oh, imagine being caught behind that cunt. As if Airports are hard enough. But as if you're not sweating your bollocks off in an airport anyway, running about the place and fucking half a hangover and you're trying to pull your fucking thing up steps. Can up. you imagine being built like that and he isn't sweating? 
continuously out through oh. the beard the smell of the fucker like oh and especially when he's like I don't wear deodorant I rub a fucking lemon on my pussy like <laughs> that's that's all he does like I, I get a handful of berries and I rub it in my taint and he does but that's the thing he's, he makes out people people always ask me how my teeth stay so white and he's impeccable teeth and he's just walking along with a stick in his mouth and you're like oh go fuck off liver king you're not he, oh I just I just eat a piece of ash on a Sunday morning and it just fucking cleans out all my teeth and you're like <laughs> Man, I've been one night when I forgot to brush my teeth after a night of beer and I all want, I want to rip them out with a vice grips the next morning. They're so disgusting. And this guy's walking after eating, <laughs> scraping them with a fucking credit snail, card. Snail fanny juice all fucking week and liver and then fucking egg piss or fucking fish piss and now you're going to brush your teeth with a stick. Yeah. Really? And you still have a wife. You still have a wife, you rotten fucker. But see that, ho- <clears throat> sorry, the Valentine's Day one was like, the only one thing to do, eat beef heart. <laughs> And he takes us the full heart, you know, the big giant fucking heart. Well, like Khaleesi in fucking Game of Thrones to get into the gang. He takes a bite out of it. He's like, me and the family enjoying a Valentine. And the kid's like, you know, like you can (laughs) see the kid taking the gooey tiny bit and going like. Oh, uh, the liver princes. (laughs) The liver princes. (laughs) Fuck off. Come on. These two liver puffs. (laughs) (laughs) He must be, it must be gutted that like, I mean, he's absolutely Jack City. And then his kids are like taller than him and skinny. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and they are going to hate him so much. Yeah, no matter all the money in the world, they go into school and they're like, "Seen your dad yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> Licking out a salmon." <laughs> You'd have way more credibility if your old man was caught eating raw sausages at the plowing championship, wouldn't you? Mm. <laughs> I got ice in my mouth. <laughs> Just that would be hilarious. Liver King here <laughs> at the Balmoral show. <laughs> I've just had my both hands up a fucking (laughs) cow's anus. And now we're going to have some raw sausage. (laughs) Authentic Irish sausage. It's that weird. like Made out of not meat at all. What makes it kind of nearly more interesting is how shitty is it presenting himself. Like another fella, they're real good in front of the camera. And you know, there's no awkwardness. They're like, so this is is what I like to use on a daily basis. And there's a quick cut. And then it's all of a sudden, he actually, there's weird pauses where he goes, this is where Liver King is, or Liver Queen is going to feed me. Come in, come in now. This is where Liver Queen is going to feed me a- yeah. a- eggs out of the vagina of a salmon freshly caught in super value. Do you know, uh, what, do you know uh, what it is, though? What? It's not enough. Produ- they need like a wee, very American style, like guitar riff, or, like but music band. Like, I think that's what makes it. And then he's like, she's fucking squirting in his mouth. And he's like. But I don't think I'd watch that then. I go. But it's like deadly silent. He's like. It's the brilliant weirdness of it. That's what the weird, because you think, that fucker's going to puke. We're going to catch him once finally puking, because he, cli- he climbed a tree one day. I just, <laughs> our ancestors like to dry their meat out on a, on a tree. I just can't wait any longer. And he just climbed up this chain, because his ancestors, they had, you know, 500 quid for a fucking chain as well to hang it up there. Yeah. And he climbs up the chain, and he t- attempts to eat it like a jaguar, <laughs> hanging out of the tree. And it's not working at all. Anybody else would have gone, cut, we'll go again. Ah. Your man drove on. And that's why I think I watch it too, because it's just so fucking brutal. He's sh- <laughs> But he does he does have to like da 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 and this and saying this. Da-da-da. I think he's just trying to remember what he needs yeah. to say. He's like but yeah, the, the oh it's weird. But for Blade him, he's fucking obviously killing it. He's it, The problem is with the internet now. He is that forever. Yeah. He's not gonna be like Liver King here. I have a new series on my, you know, cars. Yeah, he's I've, not gonna mi- do- I've got a new mini series where I talk about my cars. Everyone's gonna be like, fuck up and eat the fucking sheep bollocks again. Hi, it's Liver King here, and I'm uh, now presenting the Antiques Roadshow. So I would like to talk about your watch come that you got from your <laughs> nana. Let's have a look at that. <laughs> fuck off, Liver King. <laughs> no top on stuff. No top on <laughs> just a tie. A tie, but no top on just because to look the part. The music can all kick in at the beginning. Don't be alarmed. The stench is my genitals. <laughs> anyway, talk to me about this vase. <laughs> I just uh, defecated in the bushes, wiped my ass <laughs> with my finger, cleaned it with one leaf, <laughs> threw it away. Don't let that distract you. It does smell like dog food and beef in here. <laughs> Tell me about this painting. <laughs> Arts and crafts. Oh, yeah, I like it. I like it. There might still be some residual oils in the old painting. <laughs> Squeeze it in his mouth. Monet. I like it. <laughs> Show me the Monet. Am I right, girls? <laughs> I just like to think he's like that forever. You know what I mean? Oh, he, he's... It's like a school disco when he's standing there a pair of cut-off sweatpants. <laughs> Liver King has an erection. <laughs> Let's go. But you know he wasn't. I guarantee he reinvented... He, he went to prison or something or he did a fucking... I don't know, a, a, a semester in Hawaii or something and came back a completely different but person. But he let, it, he let it slip one day where he goes... Um, 
I love all the sla- slobber we're doing, and I will never stop watching it. I'll watch, oh, no. it. I'll watch, oh, every, I'll watch every second of it. One hundred percent. But he let it out of the bag one day. He said, "Veterans Day, whatever." And he goes, um, "For all the people who gave up their lives, and my fa- my own father who paid the ultimate sacrifice with his life." And you're like, "Ah, oh. ah." Uh, and here right. we. Are. And every day when he's loading up the fucking yeah. the rogue plates on the fucking sled and all he's just going like bring back my dad <laughs> as he like pulls yeah. it up the fucking driveway there, that, that's the question that's, that's it answered that's it answered he knows so. that his dad did some real shit and he has to be like I pretend that I do real difficult shit every day I'm the man, manliest man of all time yeah. yeah 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 and your dad's looking down from heaven going why are you eating <laughs> llama nipples or some bullshit it's like so, so obscure Fair play to him. I love it. I'm going to get a Liver King tea. Who bought... Did someone buy the Liver King? Did Dave tell me he bought the fucking supplements? Did he? Dave might have bought the liver pills. I could be talking shit like, but I think he did. I love if Dave grew his beard out and just wore no shirts anymore. Just... <laughs> I had thought of doing a sketch and I'm going to absolutely burn it here by saying it, but the, doing fucking... The, the, doing the Liver King and just have it as a scouser with a beard talking about their ancestors. <laughs> I've just read Shitter King down on this page. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's going to be there. The um, that's I only to in recent. I just I went down a real deep rabbit hole in my mind there, trying to think of sketches. Yeah. Oh, well, Shitter, I, King. Shitter King. Shitter King. Liver King. Um. The Liverpool King. Fuck <laughs> it. <laughs> All right. What's happening, Primals? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, Primals, lad. No. <laughs> <laughs> ah, stop it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Now, like, the liver queen, she's over here. Come over. Come in, Tina. Now, stand me down your lap. Now, <laughs> have you brought in that fish to squeeze down me? <laughs> it's a battered fucking... Just, <laughs> just squeezing cream. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen that other bloke, then, that reviews chippies? The northern bro- bloke. He rev- oh, yes. Yeah. No, we were and all... he brings his own table. Yeah, genius. <laughs> we, we were on that a while ago, and when I first seen it, I died laughing because... Very sort of amateurish video, yeah. And he would be like, "All right, here we are, fucking eating it, eating it, eating it, eating it. Probably not the biggest kebab in, and he's eating it. And then he had the decency to fast forward through the tune. So he'd be like, "Here we are, fucking lovely bit of fucking kebab." And then he bites it and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> like, he, like he, they fast forward. That's so, Liver King, fucking walk down on the wife. <laughs> <laughs> Liver King, any puss. <laughs> but they would, they would, <laughs> they would, he would fast forward to the chair and he was just going, that's fucking lovely. <laughs> they would just stop abruptly. I like that guy though. He's great. Yeah, He's a fuck. charming fucker. Do you see he what? is. He can just fucking, he'd be like, he'd be oh, like, and he walks in and they're fucking swooning over him. And yeah. you're like, Jesus Christ. I seen one and uh, he, was, he was waiting for, I forget what ethnicity, it was like Ethiopian food or something, but it was a cart. He's like, what's all this fucking cracky, bastard? <laughs> and, <laughs> and this girl, like, beautiful African goddess, yeah. you know, and she's like, oh, it's whatever food. And he's like, all right, fuck, I'll have a go then. You like it? You like fuck it? He's like, Peter Kay, but like, <laughs> worse. And he's like, do you like you eat here often or not? And he's like, chatting her up. She was like, fucking really into it. And the camera was, he, they were doing that thing where he's mic'd, but she, the cameraman's like, you know. Way back, yeah, yeah. 30 feet back. So it seemed real, and I was like, "This man's a goddamn player." I, I not, I watched him, and he went back. He, he got brought back in to Chippy because he didn't try, you know, yeah. the local speciality, and he fucking packed away some feed, right? And he went, "I'm just after getting message from the girls in shop. <laughs> I never tried. I won't." I got, and it was a deep fried cream egg. It was oh, a yeah. deep fried cream and a couple of more fucking weird shit. But you want to see him leaning on the counter, going, "All right, girls, we've been, we've been working here long, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah." And he just turned into fucking sexy Fred Dibner all of a sudden over the fucking <laughs> counter. <and> like, <laughs> So fucking if, niche. If, if I drop, <laughs> it is pretty niche. Actually, if you like three people listen to this podcast and go, I know who Fred Dibner is. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but he was. I, what I that's what at first I'm going. I was just a bloke talking to camera, but I want to see him chatting up more fucking women. You know, and he's just right. he's, he's he's fucking just licking out a, <laughs> like a melty cream. All right, well, I've been doing these long. <laughs> All right. <laughs> You batter many sausages, you fucking dirty. But man. you gotta be all in, don't you? If you're gonna be that, you gotta be like. If we were doing it for a sketch or doing it as a mess or a fucking, you know, a hidden camera thing, you, we'd never sell it as hard as he can sell it. Do you no, know what I mean? He's it's, in there. Same as Liver King, hard to parody because he does it to himself. It, yeah, it's like you don't know where the line is. You're like, is this real or what the fuck? Yeah, is he okay? yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. But your man, I, what I, <laughs> the chippy fella, the, in a world of so many like <sighs> guys, we need to be smashing avocados 
Uranus because uh, we are not taking on the correct amount of amino fats like anybody knows what that is and right now we need to be injecting all sorts into our ears and you know guys we're just and this guy is just going all right I'm eating worse shit on planet yeah, yeah. you know I've had two chippies for lunch but <laughs> fuck it I'll have a pizza for dinner keep me going till get me tea <laughs> and you would never like the, whatever about him and then there's the chap in Dublin who's reviewing pints a Guinness yeah. just one one product yeah. Which is pretty much the same everywhere nowadays. Well, like, not everywhere, <laughs> but at the same time. Pints? I mean, it, it's either the place has bad pipes, like there's something wrong with the line mm. and it tastes like shit, or it's just Guinness. Yeah. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. And then people have went nuts with it. Lockdown really made people lose their mind. We're like, I'm getting a serger and a fucking jewelry cleaner, and I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to shake it up. And, all, and every one of them I tasted, I was like, who get, like, give me the can. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'll drink the pints when I'm in the pub. I'm standing in a fucking, like, gazebo, having what I think is a real pint, going, I don't it, give a fuck. It, but it, it's it's like anything, when you're not where you're supposed to be, it's like VR fucking uh, porn or something. It's like, get it as real as possible. It's like, it's still not even close to the real thing. You're just trying to keep us all in the house. I know, I know, but don't be pulling out. Like, those surgeons were like 200 quid. Ah, but then people realise that they, the, they're the, just a jewellery the, cleaner. Jewelry cleaner <laughs> yeah. But, um... Just give me the car, I don't give a fuck. But it was, I, I, I was, there was a notion I had of, <clears> is there <throat> something ridiculous that we could review on the daily? Like, you know what I mean? That wouldn't, it shouldn't interest anybody. So you can understand pints or chippy. You know, you, there's there's a relevance to it. It's food products. Barista bar coffee, like, you know, that blue shit. And, and oh, yeah, shots. yeah, yeah. But there, no, but there'd be something, even not something food related, just reviewing churches. Do you know what something? Do you know what I'm, Just going in going, I love guys. The garage, oh my God. The garage guru. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? You, <laughs> That'd be a great one. Just like going to like film stations. I actually, I was kind of doing it to a degree. Ones that would be open at all hours of the night that comedians would need. And there's yeah. only a handful around the country that will let, let you walk in at any time. Yeah. Ones where, like there's one in Monaghan, on the edge of Monaghan. They don't give a fuck. No. Because they know then nobody's going to be stupid enough to try out and stupid in this place. It's ju- You just get that vibe when you walk in there, you're like, oh, everybody in here behind the counter the whole lot, you're way more dangerous than almost anybody could walk in here. I, I was driving back. It was actually from Galway and we got fucking, I, I went the, normally I just go Dublin and over mm. and I did it the fucking other way. Oh, day, Jesus right? and, Christ. I don't know what the time was, but it was, there was roadworks in, in, in the dead of night like, and we had to take this detour and I was like, oh, where the fuck am I? Find this garage. And these lads pulled up who were like, they must have been out like lamping or something, like doing some sort of hunt. Yeah. The roughest looking cunts of all time. The guy had a fucking scar on his face, like someone hit him with a machete. Yeah. And they're all fucking camo and whatever, but they were just buying like cigarettes and stuff. And I was like, oh my fucking God, where am I? Yeah, there's, but also you then you have, <coughs> there's like there's vigilante groups too, like around the countryside like that. We, nobody knows about like that because there ain't enough cops. These lads do patrols because they way more weapons than any cop, just cop shop. Neighborhood have. watch. Yeah, these fucking mad co- yeah. They, they looked. It, it was either like they were rough cunts, or I was like, these guys are fucking each other. It was that sort of like. Could be both. You know, Could. are we going out hunting again tonight? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> do the sound. The, the liver king down the wife. Go on. <laughs> Go on. Do it. I'm trying to think of what the, the fast forward and sounds like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lovely kebab. <laughs> We got to do questions here with fucking yes. too many fucking. Will you fuck up, too? <laughs> <laughs> I'm freezing in here, sniffing like mad. I apologize for anyone listening. We've about ten minutes here to rip through these. Okay, I'm gonna put the the, the vipers on. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't have any stupid glasses. Do you want? Do you want the vipers? How much are a pair of pit vipers now? I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> they're not. They're not expensive, but they're. Oh yeah, they don't feel expensive. No, but they're what they are. They're. F- but you can get super good ones, like really good ones. We can go skiing in. It's, they that suits you now. That does suit you. Well, I have a mannequin head. <laughs> you actually fucking do. Everything suits me. You've got uh, a right size nose, right size. Yeah, fucking hell. Right, let's get the questions. Patrick McAllister, good man, party. Uh, heading to Limerick on Friday. Any tips for pubs, things to do? Go to Jerry Flannery's. You won't be sorry. Jerry Flannery's. Yeah. Film station. The, the fellow with the, the giant fucking co- guns that used to play for Ireland. Remember? The, oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. The, he has, yeah. He's with got, a mullet? Yeah, his pub and his oh, cocktail. He's an, I mean, he's he's from, like, Furlong is from that school of, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Irish these, mythology. These fellas are fucking mad jokes. So go to, yeah, go to Jerry Flannery's 
great Bollocks. they're, they're starting up some decent fucking comedy there too can't go wrong going to Dolan's as well just around the corner from Flannery's let me see this luscious bastard oh wait a minute I've spelled it wrong what have you ended up in oh this computer is soiled already oh <laughs> oh him yeah who am I thinking of who are you thinking of who's that fucking dude with the Oh, you're thinking burn? of uh, Burn. Yeah. And his whole family, all, his, all the men in the family have that haircut. Yeah. I swear to God, and just unironically have had that haircut. They, they all look like, do you remember that? Um, it might have been like Killarney or something, but they were like, you know, it's the highest pub in Ireland and the fuck it. They yeah. finally opened it again. And yeah, this guy's yeah, like, yeah. Hey, like, oh, you're on the <laughs> And he starts laughing and the guys are pouring it like, what the <laughs> fuck is he saying? <laughs> <laughs> now well, you're lonely, lady. <laughs> when you get deep into Kerry, Kerry West Cork, I worked on a on a for a, a bit, not to get too off something, but I had, like literally you can go five twenty five minutes outside of Cork City where they have a bit of an accent, like, but you get to just over what would be known as West Cork. I remember working on this. It was a building site, but we were building onto the side of this pub. And your man was the local milkman and the local publican. So he never slept. But oh he'd come God. in every morning at eight o'clock to me for some reason, because he knew I was from Tipperary, where they make bulmers. And he could not understand on a Wednesday morning why I... You'll have a tie, though. You'll have one. I don't know what you're... What are you saying to me? Yeah. I don't have a tie, though. Ha- you'll have a cider. You'll have a cider. But it took me three days to know what the fuck this fella... But Literally, you go three minutes back up the road and you can understand people again. But once you go into fucking West Kerry, West Cork, it turns into that copper, basically, from the... Yeah. St- oh, should I know a fucking... Oh, should I know who killed her. I know who killed her the second they came in. They're fucking mad. Do they, do they know what they're saying? Like, when they all get together they and it just sounds like fucking like no, sea lions? No, it's and just the- continuous... <laughs> it's just continuous fucking madness, yeah. Does Jerry Flannery look like every sneaky Irishman that they yeah. were having, like, piggy blinders? You know? He actually uh, does, yeah, a, a he does, slitty-eyed yeah. slitty-eyed fucking, you know, dodgy bastard. Yeah. He, he's a <coughs> serious good venue, though. We had co- I did comedy there last year and it was a fucking great venue. Thoughts on the rise of Dublin crime gangs? I don't know. They've always fucking been there. Yeah. They've all, they, and they, they've just been sensationalized because your man got in with the box and, you know, MTK is his, like, so. I, I, did, I did go down a bit of a rabbit hole with certain stuff one day and there was, like, a documentary. It looked quite fan-made, but they mm. were talking about all these crimes, all these, like, revenge killings that were going on and some of them were, like, Brutal, like yeah, brutal. I know. Like we we really don't hear the half. But if you talk to the odd copper that lives out the rougher parts, we have to deal with that shit. And it's just like, oh, and it, it has, it has been sensationalized a fair bit. And a lot of them tag themselves on to the likes of the the big boxers and the big fucking MMA fighters, the likes of McGregor and stuff like that. And they do tag their fucking vibe onto that. And I don't know, it's it's something that's fucking. It's always been there, but it's like. It seems to be they're trying to make it cool now. You see all these youngsters going around in fucking Canada Goose jackets and you're like... Oh, yeah, I was in... Mental. Do, now, do you remember we were in fucking Brown Thomas? Yeah. And I was just walking around. Uh, we're, we're just killing a bit of time, basically. I was looking at the fucking... In Dublin or Galway? In Dublin. I was just looking at the shoes. But I was expecting, like, I'm going to be the biggest fucking scumbag down here. You know, it's going to be all rich ladies. Mm. And it was all fucking, like... 20 year old fucking drug dealers yeah. and me in the middle going no one look at me in the eyes all these lads picking up 700 pound pairs of shoes being like nah fuck that and throwing it away and, and they're, they'll all take a photograph I'd say then just like their hero did you know what I mean with the fucking fist up yeah you know a Canada goose <laughs> fucking Hypothet- fuck these questions are all over the place uh, hypothetically if you were dying what would your make a wish be Not you f- are dying how about that yeah. Gary V up in this bitch <laughs> You're dying every day. No, that's... Get out there. Buy yourself a van. <laughs> Burn your fucking house. Leave your family. Reinvent yourself. Get a van. Go to Port Stewart. <laughs> 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 and fucking get in the sea, man. I can't get these back on. For fuck's sake. Are they adjustable? <laughs> uh, realistically, what would you die? Um, it would just be like... Uh, just take me somewhere warm. You know, I'd just be like, just let me chill on a beach with my family and friends. Yeah, I, I, if you start, if I even had the fucking mental capacity to be able to deal with thinking about that question, I'd probably be a smarter person. So I don't even know what to fucking say. <laughs> fucking, whatever. I'd w- walk off a fucking cliff. I don't know, fucking. <laughs> depends on what you're dying of. You're dying and your cock has fallen off? Fuck that. If I'm dying of something I can't feel or see coming on the way out, yeah, plow on. Fucking drive everywhere at 120 miles an hour. <laughs> Fuck everywhere. Never come under 120 miles an hour again. I uh, I do that anyway. Um, 
Oh, look at this guy. Mother of Jesus Christ. <laughs> he has veins sticking out of his helmet right now at that. Oh, this is uh, an old clip of me lifting weights here. Power of patriarchy. The power. I know what men can do when they're angry. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Karen, heading up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the guy in the back. <laughs> <laughs> what's he done? Like, what's he fucking done? I don't know, it's but his, wi his wife's getting a good scene too. <laughs> <laughs> Later on that night. <laughs> Man, he has nothing left to give her. He That's a lot of energy for a big lad. But what's he doing? Like, I don't get what he's doing. He's bouncing the fuck away. <laughs> like, there's no height he's trying to hit. Is there a... Adam! Ah! I mean, that is... It's mental. Not to take away from him. Why not do something actually cool or measurable? Not, like, that's bouncing the baby. <laughs> like, that is not an exercise, sir. I mean, what are you talking? 150, 300, 300, fucking 400 kilos or something? Hmm... That's the back end of a mini, I suppose, isn't it? Fuck me, yeah. yeah if you, that's, that's demented. Um, the patriarchy. The patriarchy. Uh, let me see, let me see. Has Tom Strip North been any connection, uh, any connection to the removal of red diesel? Any setting up a greenfield enterprise? Or, and setting up a greenfield enterprise above the six counties? Above oh. in the six counties? Well, they've got red, red, red diesel down south or something? I've read these has gone ages. Oh, is it? Yeah, well, I, I think so, yeah. I think, well, they, they want to tax, no, sure, they want to tax everything up here. They want to, they want all the agricultural and, and uh, construction vehicles to now run on regular diesel uh -huh. with the tax on it. So they're getting rid of red diesel up here. Yeah. And people are like, uh, for once, they will be now selling agricultural diesel from down south back up north. So it, it can't come in. Literally, it would make a stake. Would you get an electric vehicle? I've thought about him. Uh, do you know what I'd love to do? You can actually... I know this is the TV shows I end up watching, like fucking Timberman and stuff like that. This guy had a had a, his 4x4. Four four. He could run it on timber. He had a stove running on the back and driving the gas that was coming off the timber was able to set, set his engine going. Now, it would only do about 30 miles an hour. But your man was like, I need to never buy nothing again. And he was just... He had logs of timber in a stove up on the track. And that's, that's where we're going. Do you know who would like that? Maury? Yeah. You know, she'd be like, I get to let it be far. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You, you now install. I remember, I remember trying to light a fire and like a wee stove thing and shutting the door and it went out. And she was like, you fucking tiny cunt. You can't even light a fire. And I was like, we're fucking oil heating. <laughs> <laughs> Just hit the button, you mental. I'm going to turn to fucking Ray Mears in the living room here trying to heat the thing. It's too fucking warm <laughs> anyway. Side striking. The fucking, am I supposed to have a... <laughs> with a fucking... <laughs> giving it all that shit with a... Fuck. Bring me in some bring me in some old man's beard off the tree outside, Eddie. Bring it in. Get it going, get it going, get the hair dry. Yeah. Oh, fuck's sake. Oh god. Are you patrons of any other podcasts? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Are we supposed to say what ones or do we just move on? Um I, keep keep supporting Patreon. Fair yeah. play to you. Get on the Patreon there. Keep supporting it. Ours is flat out at the minute. Uh I don't know if you watched the recent Louis Theroux docu-series, it follows the rising stars of far-right neo-Nazi politicians. Yeah, I got it sent to me a few times, but I'm stuck up to my uh, axles in fucking Yellowstone right now, and I can't take it else on board. Yeah, um, yeah, I've heard about that. You would love it. Okay. It's not what, like, at first you're going to go, ah, fuck that, it's about country music. It's not. It's basically the Sopranos for a fucking bad motherfucking cattle eaters. That's what it is. Oh, damn. But from, for, from, from the get-go, it's like, oh, but you the only thing is you will be walking around our house after two episodes spitting on the floor and just fucking calling everybody yeah, by what they are. You'll be going, hey, woman. Hey, woman. Come on over here. Come on over here. I need my, I need my tea and my feet massaged. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you've just, you've just, <laughs> I just found myself getting way too cowboy. I had to tone it back. Like Natasha was like, wind it down. I'm too fat to be a cowboy. I no, think. no. You, you, what you'll end up being is the guy that... Um, you'll end up owning all the horses. That's, oh, yeah, they, yeah. Oh, they, all them fellas put on a bit of timber. Everyone comes to see me and I'm in a restaurant eating a big steak. Yeah. And I just sit there going, you know. It's not weird that you own a quarter of a million acres. Yeah. Do you know that kind of way? Oh, yeah. Totally. Um, as a pair of dads, what were some of your lowest dad moments where you said, uh, or you had to say, come on, cop yourself on, sir? 
One of mine was probably when I typed Emma Wiggle into the Pornhub search bar. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. That's pretty is low. Is the young right? lad on the Wiggles, is he? No. That Australian no, bunch? No, like? no, no, no. We sidestepped a lot of that weird shit. It's, like, there, there's a team. Fucking dinosaurs and tractors right now. Yeah. That's, that's, that's where we're at. And Eddie's the same, but he enjoys a bit of a disco in the middle of it. You know what I mean? So, oh, yeah. There'll be an old... Like, Paw Patrol obviously has a fair bit of singing going on, so he'll fucking bounce around to that. Yeah. Like, so... But the old Wiggles is just like, Hey, guys, we have fucking three Australian nonces. And a girl who's kind of Oh, hot. I saw him. Now I know what you're on about. Oh, fuck no. That came on one day. I'm like, not having any of that around the place. They all but there is There is one woman in it, and I, I get what this guy's saying. He's probably just like... Oh. But I mean, why, just because... That's that's men's brains now. You yeah. go like this person's on TV. They must also have the a laps out somewhere, a, a leaked sex yeah. tape somewhere. Yeah, yeah, of course. And that's exactly. Yeah, I get, I get that moment. I get that moment. But get her hot potatoes out. That's like, a joke. That's a Wiggles joke. <laughs> there's so many other women you could have seen on telly that you could have typed the same thing. Like he sees every woman he sees on telly. All right, let's see. Sure, Art McCann was talking to me about Euphoria. Which oh, is on yeah, my yeah, TV. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, I hey, sir, once you've fucking rung the bag of yourself, <laughs> you know, it's actually well shot. <laughs> he's like, you'll have two boners, one for the cinematography, one for the tits. <laughs> Dicks and everything flying about there. Great to hear Tom back at the pod. I see everyone's favourite Jamaican, Chet Hanks. Wagwan! <laughs> is back in the news because he had no male role models growing up. So who were your influences growing up? How did, how did Chet Hanks not have r- role models growing up? Is that Tom Hanks? Yep. Is, What's that, that? is his dad really Tom Hanks? I don't is know. Oh. Is Tom Hanks running out of fucking late pedal ring? I don't know. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I don't... Fucking role model. His old man was fucking Woody from Toy Story. Get the fuck out of town. you got nothing else to worry about. Who was your biggest influences growing up? I have no idea. I didn't... It was like... Truth be told, there was a one-eyed guy up the road that was really impressive. He didn't get married. He gave me cigarettes... And uh, let me drive his tractor. Do you know? So, I mean, that's as simple as I was. I was like, okay, I get to drive a vehicle at seven years of age and smoke figs. By my, and he would just wander off and go, yeah, just bring it back when you're done. So, he, you know, he, and he'd one eye and operated. Was he just like this? <laughs> his eye was actually quite cool. He never put it, he never tried to blank it up by wearing glasses of any sort. It was just grey, just this grey fish eye on oh, one yeah. side. And he's just like, oh, yeah, Tom, let's walk away with the tractor. <laughs> And just be gone and just let me drive the tractor. Better than that, you know, they've had the eye removed and they just have that fucking face. What would you do if you lost... Face anus? Would you leave, leave the vacant void or would you go and get no, a fucking eye? I would be fucking... I'd be like, come into my fucking fake eye vault and I would just <laughs> open it and it would just be like every type of fucking... You know what I'm like with trainers even? Yeah, like, yeah. Would you I'd be like, got everything. Where are we go, going out tonight? What shoes am I wearing? <laughs> just this big fucking... Put in the match and I... Just <laughs> I'd be like, these are the Carhartt ones and then it comes down to here and these are all Nike and then these are like... Carhartt eye yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just rough as fuck <laughs> Why has it got extra pockets on the side I don't need pockets yeah. in my fucking eye It's tough It's tough. I can take it out like sand Tri- the fucking tri- Triple recorder. stitched fucking eye Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I'd have everything I'd be like these are Nike out Max You can bounce it You know it's fucking everything uh, This one's got a watch in it um, Is the mullet here to stay? I don't know the moustache is for sure. I don't know. I've threatened to cut it off so many times. Like, and it's just, it, I don't, I've no love for it. It was just a joke. Yeah. It was like a dare from Natasha. It's a bit, it's a bit more sort of. It's conservative right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's very pronounced last time I seen it. Ah, yeah, it was kind of fucking mad. Because I, there comes a point too, you're just losing your hair and stuff. And it's like, I don't really care. Let's just, I'm a comedian. Yeah. I, let's just have a bit of it. But then it seems people have emotional attachment to the fucking thing. It's like, all right, well, relax. It's the, it's, it's the new beard. You know the way like, Guys for a long time would be would become that was their personality. They were, oh you know, yeah, like the, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. like if there were a fucking PT, it would be like the bearded PT or the bearded butchers on they, YouTube. They do, yeah, 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 they yeah. do anything. Oh, it's the bearded mechanic. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. It's like <laughs> the, <laughs> the mullet is now that you know. I suppose no. The mustache is for me is much more pride than the mullet. So it may stay. It is incredible how you've got that gradient fade. It's weird. I it was a surprise to all of us. I did not know it was going to do this. I was just growing it for the crack. And I was like, have you seen that TikTok with a woman? There's like a pair of fucking like knickers behind her. And she goes, some women's this pH of their vagina will will like bleach their <laughs> underwear. And then it cuts back to the guy who has that. He's like, he's got a white beard. And he just goes, huh. 
<laughs> I need to find that video. Huh. That's fucking brilliant. Maybe that's what it is, so I don't oh, know. I don't know. <laughs> fuck. If we one more question before we go, we're going to have to go with dinner reservation. Please fuck up, Because that's how we do. Final question, Brand 10. Are you going to let the bear uh, into your latest business venture, Dinners and Doingers? That was from a Patreon episode where I stumbled. Dingers and Doingers? D- yeah, I, st- I stumbled across this page. Because it was like this is when this is when suggested pages work. Oh yeah, when they, yeah, when they yeah, serve yeah. you up something yeah, yeah, and you yeah. go, "Well done, Zuckerberg." Yeah, that's just for me. And it was this page called <laughs> Croquetas y Tetas, and it was <laughs> it was this woman who just basically showed pictures of her dinner like this, you like oh. o- o- over her tits, over her fat tits. So it was Croquetas y Tetas, and I was like. <laughs> It's charming and fun when she does it. And I was like, if I did it, it'd be dinners and doingers. Where we just be like, <laughs> Here's a fucking cowboy supper. But that's a picture. The third, the third, the third cock's my cock. <laughs> but that's a picture you never see. Although at some stage, McGregor is going to do it. His cock is practically out. Yeah. He's going to do it. So the down cleavage shot for women is a shot you see a lot. About a down, looking down the shaft of the cock. Does you never see that? Like if that, I'd be like the golden eye, like fucking yeah, yeah, like as if you first person shooter, you are POV first person. You're the you're the sight, the gun sight on the top of the fucking yeah. You, you never see that. That's I'm sure if you looked hard enough, you'd find oh, it. Oh, like I say, you'd never see it. We could find it in under three seconds. Yeah, you might yeah, fucking yeah. look. But I reckon McGregor is going to slip up someday. He's, and he's, he gonna, he's decent pace on him, like sizable pace. I reckon he gives it a fucking bit of an idea. Ah, about. he does, of course. Sure, he he pronounces it. He puts it on display, and they're all doing it now. There's a couple of fighters from SPG. They're all like, "That's it. I can't wear tracksuits." You swing the pipe around and then just stuff it to the side. Yeah, exactly. I I can't wear tracksuits out of the house because all all the new new tracksuits now, the ones that are kind of tight and athletic, they're all showing your cock. And I'm like, I'm a fucking grown man. This would have been hilarious when I was 21, out tearing around the place. But, but that's that's the thing. It's like it's not it's not that you're going like, man, look at my cock. You're going like, this is slightly indecent. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're just like, you, don't like wanna, you don't want to be able to be like, that's a bollock, that's a bollock, <laughs> that's the cock. It's basically like if you had a little window on your back of your trousers, just showing your your actual anus, like not your arse cheeks, but your actual pipe, yeah. and you're going. <laughs> 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 yeah, you can't do it. I remember like uh, David Beckham when he did the ad for like Calvin Klein. He's like on the fucking chaise lounge <laughs> like that, and he just had a perfectly like you know like half a fucking tennis ball mm. bulge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like that's not what your fucking cock and balls look like. Not to put a bag of sweets. Look, you can't blame him. Like same as when your man Chris Hemsworth is playing fucking Thor, he literally puts down a set of twenty kilo fucking barbells. Right, shoot. And he's got veins popping everywhere out of his oh, biceps. Oh, he's, he's got the pump going, yeah. Oh, yeah, you ha- like he says it himself, you have to. Because you ne- no, who walks around like fucking raging all the time unless you're, well, I mean, they're all taking gear. Like, But it's the same thing. If if you're if you were selling sexy things, yeah. you'd you'd give, you'd have half a chub on. Yeah. You'd have, of course you would. Of course just McGregor would. just fucking the most pronounced traps just being like, hold on a second. <laughs> But you know, like, if anybody follows the regime of the Wolf of Wall Street, hmm, yeah. like, you know he does. Like, he's tearing it 15 times a day. For sure he is. McGregor? Yeah. And why wouldn't you be? <laughs> I probably, probably just talking to himself in the mirror, too. Going, yeah. Okay. Yeah, fucking <laughs> 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 up, 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 up. Like, <laughs> <laughs> there's a lot of guys... We gotta go here. There's a lot of guys like in, in Belfast that have adopted the McGregor like fake laugh. Ah, Re- oh, they have. We're like, that's not the night fucking yeah. <laughs> You're like, what are you laughing at? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Order the bottle of prosecco. I mean, he plays that whole. <laughs> he plays that whole character, but he literally went to a private Gwail school. Like he he flew into Irish speaker, went to a private Gwail school. Fucking school of hard knocks, and you're like, no, it wasn't actually. You got most of your most of your your you know your 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 pupils that you went to school with went on to be teachers, or were in civil service. <laughs> so it isn't the hard school of hard knocks. And he makes it out to be. Just remember, Tom said that. Yep, I fucking said and it. The whole SPG come at me. right here, looking to knock your ball again. Right, okay. we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Cheers for joining me, Tom. Have to Thank do, you. Do Thank you very much. Home. We're going for dinner, like two grown men. Up the raw. Let's go. <laughs> See you later. Good luck.